वेलकम बैक इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैव सीन टू टर्म फर्स्ट वन इज लेटेंसी एंड देन वी सी अबाउट थ्रोटपुट थ्रोट पॉइंट सो नाउ लेट्स सी द थर्ड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट इज इज अवेलेबिलिटी अवेलेबिलिटी मींस अवेलेबल ऑल द टाइम अवेलेबल ऑल द टाइम ऑल द टाइम सो इफ एनी एप्लीकेशन is available all the time that is called a high availability application all the time it means that if you request anything to any application any time that application responds then it is called high availability application for example if you log in into instagram youtube or any social media platform any social media platform then that application always responds even in the 3 am of night or 3 pm of evening every time it responds so this social media application is highly available but in contrast of this there are many application like bank bank applications which sometime may not available for a few hour few hours few hours in a day so these type of application are low availability application because they are not available sometimes in whole day and these are called the low availability application and the availability of any application also depend upon the architecture of that application architecture for example there are two different type of architecture first one is monolithic second one is distributed so for will happen in monolithic everything is present in a one system so what will happen if this application get crash or any error come so at that time till this application does not get fixed the application is not available so it mean the monolithic application is low availability application but in contrast of this in distributed system there are many many computers or system is present and i have discussed one term that is called replication or redundancy so if there is a one data which is present here this data is also present here so if due to some error this machine does not work still the application is available because the same data is present here so in distributed system the chances of availability increases so these type of system are called high availability system high availability system so uh, after discussing other terms let us discuss one important thing in the availability that is called fault tolerance or partition to tolerance partition tolerance or same thing is also called as fault tolerance so in any application in any application if there is any fault come so with this fault even with the present of any fault if the application responds or application is available then that application is called fault tolerance and in distributed system let's suppose there are four machine and the, this machine present b information this machine present d information this machine present d2 information this machine present d2 information if one machine get crash even the d1 information here machine get crash the same information is present here so this application is fault tolerant because even the fault come in the machine the application does not go down and this type of machine is called fault tolerance machine because due to fault even the fault is present even after the fault come the machine do not go to the fault so this type of machine called fault tolerant machine so now let's discuss about the points how we can improve the availability of any machine improve availability of any machine availability of any machine first thing increase fault tolerance if a machine is fault tolerance fault tolerance so with this the machine availability get increased first thing is clear second one is reduce the fixed time reduce the fixed time what is means let's suppose if any machine has any error come 
so it take one hour for to fix so for one hour the machine may be may get downtown or not available but if the machine take only 15 seconds to get fixed so availability get increases because there are less number of time when the machine is not available so reducing the fixed time increase the availability and other one is to fix the uh, monitor the machine monitor the machine so what will happen if you properly monitor the machine and you find any type of error or bug so you can directly fix it to without waiting that when the bug cause our machine to damage then we will going to fix so proactive monitoring a machine help to increase the availability because in proactive monitoring you see the machine properly each and every time and any time you find any error you directly fix it which will reduce the cost of any error in future time and this will increase the availability so high availability is very important so let's suppose that even if social media is just not available for 10 minutes what will happen the company lose lots of money and people get a bad experience so every company almost every company try to increase the availability of a machine and availability of a machine yeah there are few company which wanted that their system are not available every time just like a banking system or any other company but in contrast of these only few application every application wanted that their application is available all the time so it is important for every company increase the availability so we have discussed three terms latency throughput availability and these are very important thing because because in the upcoming video we will see that these are very very important concept during the system design so i hope you understand all the concept in proper way if not please review this concept because in upcoming video we will going to see the usage of these things during designing of any system very very time so it is important to clear all the doubts before going to design any system we will meet in the next upcoming videos